I think any employer should consider taking on an apprentice. Why not? It's the future of your company. It's the future of British industry and it's the way forward. They're keen, they want to learn, they want to learn in your industry. So give them the opportunity. George in particular for us has been extremely keen, extremely willing to learn. Um, he'll put himself out. If there's extra work to be done, he'll come in early to do it so he can see the process. He's interested in the machines, he's interested in the cast, in the machining side of it. He's showing enthusiasm throughout, so it's great. My name's Jane Piggott. I'm the Head of HR at Smart AV. We're a global technology provider specialising in events, exhibitions and permanent installations. Our apprentice Annie has been here six weeks or so. During that time, she's shown great enthusiasm for not only her role, but her learning and development. She has also settled in really quickly and become a valuable member of our team. I definitely recommend apprenticeships to any employer that was considering taking on an apprentice. Um, in our experience, you gain um, an extremely dedicated employee, but one that has a thirst to learn and a desire to succeed. I'd say to anyone considering an apprenticeship, really give it a good look. I went through Hertfordshire Regional College because I really enjoyed engineering and I wanted to sort of go for a more practical path rather than university. So the involvement with a company and industry in a local area is more important really, and it seems more of an attractive prospect to involve myself in rather than go for a more academic route. Um, it felt more of a personal experience and I was really lucky to get a company that I really enjoy working for. We love apprentices. Um, I was an apprentice myself. It gives people experience on the ground. When we take on a, a young person in a business, it brings you know, fresh eyes to the business. They look at things in different ways. A positive benefits for bringing apprentices to the company are that they are young and they have been brought up with new technology. Uh, so they're familiar with things like CAD, computer-aided uh, design, and CAM, which is computer-aided manufacture. So they take to it like a, a duck to water, whereas some of our older members of staff uh, might struggle a little bit with that. My name is Richard Cannell. I'm a director of an injection moulding company in Hartford. We've enjoyed taking on an apprentice through Hartford Regional College. Up until around a year ago, I hadn't considered it was something that would be suitable for us. Didn't know that we'd be able to give enough to the student and didn't know that we would really get enough back from an apprentice. But I have to say it's working out really well. We met with uh, a couple of members of staff. We went through what would be required from our side. It's been an easier road than I imagined and, and so far we're all getting quite a lot from it so we're enjoying it. I'm Martin Russell, I'm a co-director of Spoke Performance. We specialise in TVRs, Nobles and Mazda RX-8s. My personal opinion, apprenticeships are the way forward. I think, you know, it gives lads a chance to get their hands out there and do the job. My experience of employing apprentices through Hartford Regional College has been a good experience. I think with what we do, because of the, the type of product we work on, we need to train people up and the only way to do that is to take on an apprentice and they, we grow with them. Any time that I'm going to be looking for uh, apprentices, I would be going through the college, no doubt about it. Yeah.